All right, what's going on guys? Coach Alfred here with another video and today we're working on my daughter's favorite shot in the whole game. It is the slice. Boom, beautiful slice. Get that backspin. Keep it low. It is a damaging shot. It will help your game and yet sadly most people either one they don't know how to hit the slice or two they don't know how to play against the slice. I have seen so many games. I'm talking middle school. I'm talking high school. I'm talking rec league. I'm talking higher where the opponent, they didn't have a great game, but they played nasty slice, nasty slice. And it caused the player who I thought would win to self-destruct. Listen, you add the slice to your tool belt and you will be hard to beat. So today, we're gonna knock this out in four easy steps. So buckle up, we're jumping right in to the underspin backhand, also known as the slice. All right, so step one, when we're dealing with the slice is to make sure you have the right grip. Now listen, we've talked about grip a whole lot. This is gonna be the same grip that you utilize for the volleys, and for the serves, okay? It is called the continental grip. This is where you put your pointer pad right here, heel pad on the second bevel. I'm gonna do this right-handed. We talked a lot about this in previous videos. If you don't know how to find the continental grip, go and watch some of those. It'll certainly help you. But once you get that continental grip, I'm gonna do this left-handed. What you're gonna do is take your non-dominant hand and put it on the throat of the racket. Once you have your grip and your hand on the throat, congratulations, you just completed one of the four steps and we can move on. All right, so we have our grip, the continental grip. We have our non-dominant hand on the throat. This is gonna be step two. It's called the unit turn and several things happen. So watch what happens. I'm gonna break them down for you, okay? What you're gonna do is you are now gonna turn that body sideways this way, you're gonna rotate those shoulders and bring the racket up behind the head, over the shoulder, behind the head. And look, the elbow is parallel to the white line, okay? Not facing out this way and not facing weird there. You know, some people do some strange things. Nice and comfortable, loaded up like this. And this is our loaded position. This is our coil. Just like every other stroke, there's a coil that happens and then an unleashing that happens. So now we get to move on to the unleashing. This is the fun part. All right, so what is step three? Step three is the swing. A lot of people have a misunderstanding here and then some people go too far with it because like all strokes, there's a lot of variation in it, okay? But in general, the slice isn't a slice like this, okay? If you try to slice the ball from here and then you do this, Look how the racket is. You ain't gonna hit nothing like that. And then even if you do, you're gonna frame it. It'll be weird like that. And a lot of tennis players, they see all of the great players do this and they think the swing is like that, but it's not. It's actually like a U, okay? What that's gonna look like is this. You are coiled up, okay? Weight is on the back foot right here you are gonna swing down like a U and then back up. So it's here, you swing down, and then you hit the ball right about here. Bam, notice the racket face. It is not like this. Again, you will miss the ball if you try to swing like that. You need to have that racket face like this. Now, it is not completely square. It's a little tilted back, just a little bit. Watch, here. You're up, and then it comes down, boom. Look at the just slight slant right here. Not here, but it's more like this. And notice where the contact point is, okay? This is different than a forehand or a backhand. On a forehand, you actually wanna hit the ball out in front of you. So, like this right here, boom, okay? You don't wanna hit your slice out in front. You actually wanna hit it about your toe to your knee. There's a little window right here. What that's gonna look like is this. You are coiled up here, weight is on the back foot. You're gonna step and swing down with the racket going out. 
So it's not here and it's not here. It's like this. Boom. Notice the racket face. And this is contact right here. See here? Right here. So it's kind of like you're chopping your foot off. You're going, boom, you are hitting the ball here. After the ball hits and it's gone, that's when this happens. But it happens so quickly, a lot of players genuinely think that it's like that. But it's not, it's an illusion. So what we want to get really used to is going from one, two, and then the swing down here, bam, contact, and then the U happens. You go down, you hit, and then just by nature of the arm, the arm will do this and then back up. Notice the non-dominant hand. It's a lot like the volley, okay? In the volley, you're here, same exact grip. You're here, you turn, and look, the hand goes out. This actually helps you so much. It stabilizes you, it balances you. The same thing happens on this shot right here. Watch, you go here, bam. And then the last thing to add in is that you want that back foot pushing forward, okay? You need to put your weight into the shot. So watch, you're here, you go into the shot, into the shot, swing down into the shot, boom. And that's gonna give you all of this body weight right here now gets transferred into the ball and I don't have to hack at it, okay? so. Let's kind of go back over this. What you have, you are in your ready position. Rackets up, handles down. This is one. Two happens. You turn your body and you bring the racket up here. Slight bend, racket is here. You're looking over the shoulder. The weight is on the back foot, okay? When that ball comes in, you bring up just a little bit, get that weight stored up, and then you go forward and you swing down, boom! You hit the ball with a pretty square face. It's just a little bit slanted. You hit the ball, the ball is gone, and then the follow through happens like this. You just hit a great shot. But I know what you're thinking, wait a second, let me see it from the side, okay? Watch this, all right, so here, you're here. You turn, you bring the racket right here, slightly bent, weight is on the back foot, and then you go forward, the shoulder goes forward, you swing like a U, you swing down, boom. Shoulders are still here. You, you are in control, you are well balanced, you've got a good low ball, backspin. Mm, this is gonna be a really good shot. So look, if you add this to your game, listen, not only does the slice, ooh, I'm wearing myself out, not only will you have a defensive shot, so many people think the slice is just a defensive shot. So they think, oh no, I'm in trouble. What can I pull out? Well, let me try and slice the ball. Listen, you watch the greats. You watch Federer. You watch Barty. Barty was a master at hitting a biting, like a biting slice. And then the opponent, because the ball's so low, they have to lift the ball up. The opponent lifts the ball up, Barty then, as a righty, she runs around that thing and whoosh, Federer does that. Alcaraz does that. Nadal does it. Every great player knows that the slice is not just a defensive option. It is an offensive weapon. In addition, the slice, you can approach the net with it and keep the ball low so that they have to hit it up. You come in and whoosh, listen. You want this weapon in your arsenal. So hopefully these four steps, one, two, the swing is three, and the finish is four. You practice those because I guarantee you add some slice into your game and your opponents will not be happy. All right, guys, that's it. Four steps to having a really good slice. I know there's more to talk about, okay? There are different kinds of slices. You can put different spins on it, and that's where things get really fun. But for now, we're just going with the basics. So look, I hope this video helps you. If you have any comments, 
any questions, please shoot those over. And outside of that, I hope to see you on court soon.